good day everyone so uh, we'll now discuss about uh, programming the pwm of uh, arm 7 processor so we'll directly get into the program so this is the basic program for uh, generating single edged pwm from arm 7 processor and uh, here the first instruction so these are all uh, on the initialization of uh, different registers so whenever these registers are being used I'll uh, get into the details of uh, the individual registers so here uh, the pencil 0 I am initializing it with uh, 2 so now let us uh, check what is the format of uh, pencil 0 so going to pencil 0 here you can see that uh, uh, the port 0, 0.0 the uh, 0th and first bit of uh, pencil 0 is connected with uh, P0.0 and when I make it as uh, 1 0 I'll get PWM1 activated in port 0, 0.0 so when I put 2 P0.0 gets the PWM1 so I'm making it as 2 so that PWM1 in uh, single edged form single edged format will be obtained uh, through port 0, 0.0 then coming to this uh, PWM PR PWM PR is uh, prescalar register so this prescalar register can be um, designed as uh, the design has been taken down or uh, carried out in the case of uh, timer timer T0 PR uh, we have uh, discussed already how to go for uh, calculating the value that has to be specified in T0 PR the same formula or the same uh, calculation has to be followed for uh, uh, obtaining the value of PWM PR so here in this case BB7 I have uh, maintained so that uh, uh, individual uh, the time taken for uh, one PWM PR to get completed will be one millisecond so that I have mentioned in PWM PR then PWM MR0 PWM MR0 I'm giving a value of a a is like uh, equivalent to uh, 10 millisecond that is like uh, it's a multiple of uh, PWM PR so in the case of uh, uh, MR not that happens to be the base so it has uh, I have given the value of a so that uh, 10 millisecond will be the rate of the PWM generated and in PWM MR1 I have mentioned the value as 8 so uh, this 8 will represent the amount of on time that has been uh, given for a PWM output so 8 millisecond will be the on time and the remaining 2 millisecond will be the off time so this is single edged only the on time can be specified the off time will be like uh, it will be calculated by itself so coming to this uh, PWM MCR that is the match control register so to see the details of match control register first we'll uh, see the PWM uh, match control register as such <coughs> so this is the PWM match control register in which uh, uh, we can see that uh, uh, different bits are associated with uh, for different functionality and uh, here we will be confined with uh, the uh, PWM MR0 MR0 we have fixed it as uh, 0 so this MR0 will I mean PWM MR0 I means to generate an interrupt after uh, the match has occurred and R means reset has occurred I mean reset should occur after the match has occurred then um, uh, set means I mean stop not set stop means I mean uh, when the match has occurred the uh, I mean the process should stop that is the meaning stop on PWM MR0 the PWM TC and PWM uh, PC will be stopped and the PWM TCR will be set to 0 if PWM MR0 reaches the PWM TC so this follows for each and every PWM that is available so basically there are uh, uh, you can see uh, 6 uh, PWMs available so for individual PWMs I mean individual uh, bits has been associated accordingly you can see that uh, uh, PWM MR0, MR, uh, uh, MR1, MR2 and MR3, 4, 
5 and 6 are arranged in this fashion so correspondingly when the bits has been enabled that particular functionality will be taken care of so here in this case we have made PWM MCRS2 which makes your uh, uh, PWM uh, TC to get reset when uh, PWM uh, MR0 value is reached by the PWM TC then uh, coming to PWM LER LER is latch enabled register so coming to this latch enabled register so this is the latch enabled registers format you can see uh, in this case um, you are um, uh, I'm feeding a value of 03 which enables the PWM match 1 latch and PWM match 0 latch because like I'm using PWM MR0 and MR1 so to uh, enable both uh, bits I'm making these two as uh, 1 so that uh, the value is 3 so here um, individually whichever the PWMs that we are using PWM uh, match registers that we are using that corresponding bits has to be made high so that it is getting activated uh, uh, so here I am going to use PWM MR0 and uh, MR1 so I have uh, made these two bits as active um, while the remaining bits are kept as 0 over here in this uh, particular register the remaining uh, bits after this 8th bit that is uh, the 7th bit uh, are all like reserved so it is like uh, it's having a least significance so that has not been shown in this particular diagram as such so coming to this uh, PWM LER we have um, uh, made it as 3 so that MR0 and MR1 is activated then coming to this uh, PWM PCR so this is the PWM PCR format in which the PWM uh, select is being selected uh, over here wherein uh, if uh, 1 is made that particular PWM is uh, selected in double edged if 0 is made that is uh, selected in single edged so as far as uh, this particular program is concerned we are going to use PWM 1 so uh, PWM 1 doesn't have an option of uh, uh, double edged mode already it is a single edge so you can see that uh, the PWM select starts with uh, 2 only so if you want to uh, get a double edged mode of PWM you will have to select from PWM uh, 2 only uh, PWM 1 can only give a single edged PWM so here so in this case all the values will be 0 because in this program we are going to use single edged PWM and this PWM enable 1 enables the PWM 1 so that we have made it as 1 so the remaining values are all 0 so the resultant value is 0 to 0 0 so that is the value that we are uh, putting inside PWM PCR <coughs> so 0 to 0 0 then PWM TCR PWM TCR is like a timer control register wherein uh, let us see the format also again so this is for PWM TCR for uh, resetting resetting uh, we can see that uh, uh, here uh, the zeroth bit is for counter enable first is for uh, counter reset and the second is for reset and uh, third is for PWM enable so first we are resetting so we will put the reset uh, bit high so 0 2 will be uh, transferred to PWM TCR so 2 has been transferred to PWM TCR and for PWM TCR again we will have to put 9 to start the PWM so why 9 because like we need to enable both the PWM and the counter so PWM and counter are enabled by putting 1 and 1 in the corresponding bits so that uh, uh, the PWM is activated and the counter is enabled so that has been done over here so this is the explanation for this program and uh, let us get into the simulation the simulation output will be obtained in port 0, 0.0 so so here uh, port 0, 0.0 has to be selected and uh, that 
has to the display type should be set as bit then we can close it now we can uh, run so you can see the on time is uh, about 8 millisecond and off time is 2 millisecond so this is a single edge so uh, you can see the off time is uh, 2 millisecond while the on time is 8 millisecond in case if I want to change it on the reverse order so that also is possible so we'll have to specify this MR1 as 2 so we are supposed to get on time as 2 millisecond and off time as 8 millisecond you can see over here on time is 2 and uh, off time is 8 so you'll have to be careful while uh, choosing the value of uh, MR1 this MR1 shouldn't exceed the value that has been specified in MR0 that is the basic uh, rule of uh, setting the values so this is with PWM single edged mode coming to PWM double edged mode so PWM double edged modes program is uh, shown over here so uh, there is a basic uh, changes are there so those changes will be uh, discussing so coming to this uh, pinzel 0 I am making it as 0x08000 so this 8 makes the 15 bit high so that PWM2 is activated in port 0 0.7 once let us check uh, the format of pinzel 0 so pinzel 0 we are making the 15th bit as high so you can see here p0.7 is connected with the pwm2 if uh, 15th bit is made as 1 and uh, 14th bit is uh, made as 0 so pwm2 is activated in p0.7 that's what has been done over here and uh, that is the pinzel 0 initial initially we are uh, connecting the pwm2 to port 0 0.7 coming to PWM PCR so PWM PCR format so this is a PWM PCR format in which um, we can um, see that the second bit sorry uh, yeah zero first and second second bit is made high so that uh, PWM uh, cell 2 is made high which makes the PWM2 to behave I mean uh, uh, to give the output in double edged mode so that is the reason we have made this as 1 so it happens to have uh, the um, uh, value of 4 so 4 has been placed over here so the remaining PWMs we are not using we are using only PWM2 so that PWM2 has to be enabled that has been enabled by putting the tenth bit as high so the value that has to be uh, put inside PWM PCR will be 0404 so that has been done over here so this is uh, PWM enable and uh, this 4 is for PWM select to uh, get the PWM in double edged mode in PWM2 PWM2 pin so that is the reason we have put 404 and PWM PR BB7 so for 1 millisecond to do the calculation I mean uh, uh, to check uh, we can check the calculation with uh, T0 PR calculation that has been already explained in the uh, timer program then uh, coming to PWM MR0 I am keeping it again as uh, 10 millisecond and uh, here I will be using PWM MR1 and MR2 MR1 will be specifying where it should go on and MR2 will be specifying where it should go off so here I am specifying at uh, 4 millisecond it should go on and at 6 millisecond it should go off so the difference between these two is 2 milliseconds so 4 and 6 happens to be the starting and the ending of the on time I mean uh, uh, the pulse starting of uh, the pulse and the ending of the pulse then coming to PWM MCR so this uh, uh, makes the second bit PWM MCR makes the second bit to uh, go high so that uh, uh, it resets the PWM MR0 when match occurs so uh, here again 
PWM uh, uh, MR1 should not be provided with this one because like uh, match has to I mean the resetting has to occur only with uh, PWM MR0 because MR1 and MR2 are uh, has to specify the on and uh, off time of the pulse so only uh, the PWM MR0 uh, MR has to be specified with resetting after the match has occurred so that's the reason uh, the PWM uh, MCR has been specified with the number 2 then PWM LER that is the latch enable register so coming to the latch enable register here uh, since we are using PWM uh, MR0, MR1 and MR2 all the uh, mm, latches has to be enabled so that's the reason uh, enable PWM match 0 latch has been made high P enable PWM match 1 latch has been made high and enable PWM match 2 latch has been made high so that uh, the value that uh, the resultant value is 7 and uh, the other uh, PWMs we are not activating so that happens to have the value 0 so 0 7 is the value that uh, has been transferred to PWM uh, LER latch enable register then PWM TCR we are moving to uh, PWM TCR we are moving to for resetting so counter reset and then for uh, 9 for enabling the PWM TCR so PWM enable and counter enable so 9 so that has been specified over here so this is the explanation for uh, PWM double edged mode so let us uh, check the output simulation output so in this case port 0 0.7 has to be connected so I'll remove the older version that is port 0, 0.0 and I'll put a new connectivity port 0. Point, connectivity point as port 0 0.7 and click click it then make it as bit then close it then I'll start so here uh, we can see that uh, the starting and ending so that is 2 milliseconds as I've already specified and the uh, this one is 10 millisecond the rate is 10 millisecond so in case uh, if I go for uh, varying the uh, time so I can uh, vary the timing also so by I mean maybe I'll put it as 1 over here and uh, 9 over here that is 1 millisecond it will start and 9 millisecond it will go off which means that uh, uh, the on time will be 8 millisecond and off time will be 2 millisecond let us check that so the off time is off time is 2 millisecond and uh, the on time is 8 millisecond so this is the methodology to uh, program the PWM in uh, assembly language mode both for uh, single-edged mode and double-edged mode thank you very much for listening